Hello and welcome to this Game Pit Pit Stop for Blitz Bowl, a game from Games Workshop for two players taking around 40 minutes as an introduction to the world of Blood Bowl. In Blitz Bowl, each player takes the role of a coach of a team of young hopefuls hoping to win a game off Blitz Bowl and also impress the crowd and watching scouts in order to get drafted up into the big time. On each player's turn, they're going to take three actions. Now, the first thing they can do with the player is to run with them. Each of the players, and there are different roles within the team, have got a move stat. And you look at the move stat and they can move that number of spaces. You can always move along diagonals. But what you can't do is move adjacent to another team's player, and that's in any of the eight squares around them. So this catcher's got a move stat of six. We can just fire him along here, attempting to make some space on the board. If a player has got the ball, and in this case the human thrower has got the ball, they can attempt to throw it to one of their teammates. You must check whether that player is adjacent to another player. Uh, one of the opposition players you must check whether there's anything in the way and there's also a little range ruler to check what range it's at and then depending upon those modifiers you check the throwing stat off the player you roll a d6 you're hoping to roll above now in this case we rolled a one which is a miss and a one is always a miss on any checks if the ball goes loose from that or from a tackle or from various things you simply roll a d8 and from the intended target square you move the ball in that direction. This happens to be blocked. It's not going to get there. So we roll a D3 and it bounces back out here. That ball's now loose and any other player on a run action can run through it and pick it up again. The last thing you can do if you're open and not adjacent to a player is to move next to them. In this case, you step in. It's called a mark move. You can move a maximum of two spaces. And when you're in there, this means that both these players are now marked. And that changes the actions you can take with those players. For a marked player, the first thing you can do is you could sidestep out of the way. A sidestep is a move of one space, and once you've ended it, you must be not adjacent to another team's player. Or perhaps you fancy it, and you can attempt to do a block move. When you do a block move, you simply roll the block dice. You might miss. You might possibly do a tackle, which knocks the other player down. They then have to do an armor check, and various players will give modifiers to that, and they'll be more aggressive. On armor checks, you check the armor stat in the case it's a 4+. That was only a three. That would mean this player is now injured. It comes off the board, but for one of the human players, one actions, they can do a reserve action and that would bring them back into play. If that player wasn't injured, they would just remain prone there. And again, for one action, for any prone player, you can stand them back up again. There are another couple of results you can get. You can shove that player, which puts them back in one direction from where you are. And then this player's got the ability to step in there. The other things you can do are smash a player, which is exactly the same as knocking them down. However, this player here can continue taking actions. Or you can do a crunch, which just adds to the chances of that player becoming injured. Those are all the actions you can take on your turn from the three actions. And if you ever get your position or the ball into the opposition's end zone, you're going to score three points immediately for your team. If any player ever gets 10 points ahead, it's an immediate win. Otherwise, the end of the game comes when this challenge deck runs out. Now, what's the challenge deck? For each of your turns, there are going to be three challenges available. They don't reset till you've taken all of your actions. And if you achieve what's on these challenge cards, then you score the number of points listed on them. And the sort of things you're going to find is break some bones. If you injure another player, that gives you three points this turn. Just complete a throw, show us a completion, one point. Free up the ball by knocking it loose from another player, two points. Go deep, send your players deep, two points. Get moving, just run with lots of players, another two points. And this gives you a lot of ways of scoring points during the game because these players are trying to show off and catch the eyes off the scouts. Once you go through the challenge deck, each player gets one more uh, turn of three actions, and then you check the score and see who's won. And once you get used to the game, to add a bit more variability, variability to the end game there are these end game challenges which come into play which give you instant things to do now both types of challenges when you claim them as well as scoring points you can then also flip them over you can only keep a maximum hand of three but they become bonus plays which you can use for example this blocking play you can mess with players throw and sidestep in do an accurate throw which automatically uh, succeeds do a defensive play which adds to your blocks raw talent you get to re-roll dice and so on and so forth and they will help you when you're continuing with your actions and attempting to score the points during the game now there are two more things included in this blocks of blitz bowl first of all there's a tutorial system which are these drill cards which takes you through the very basics of the game of blitz bowl and therefore blood bowl and that will help ease you into the 12 page rule book and the last thing that's in there is they've included sets of cards for expansion teams, but not the miniatures. So you can see that you're going to be able to get in the future dwarf teams, elf teams, 
Skaven teams, Chaos team, and a Goblin team. All of those will be able to play in future against the teams, including the humans and the orcs, in the game of Blitz Bowl. This has been a game pit, pit stop. For more videos like this, check out our channel on YouTube. For more in-depth coverage of gaming, please check out the Game Pit podcast. Thanks.